I know, girls. It needs to be colored. It needs to be colored. We've been under quarantine. What can I say? <laughs> Hey you guys and welcome back. I've got a fun little video for you today. I'm gonna be unboxing this little gadget and giving you my first impression. So stick around. Well, you guys, it's been a while. I know, how are you? How you doing? <laughs> what you been up to? Oh my goodness, it has been a crazy few weeks, hasn't it you guys? It has just been a time like no other that's all that i know to say but we are here today together to take a look at this new a little a gadget that's inside this box a few weeks ago i was contacted by duval to see if i wanted to try one of their hair products and of course i jumped at the chance to do that because i'm always looking for something to tame this mane yeah i know so when they sent me the email i emailed them back and said i would be happy to take a look at it for you to give my honest opinion my first impression and review of this product so i'm excited to dig in are you ready yeah let's do it let's just tear right on into this thing Woo! okay well i can already tell you i'm loving the box because check it out it is black and pink yes look at the front of that so sleek and so nice Packaging is everything, right? It looks like we slip it right out this way. Oh my word. Look at that gorgeousness right there. Ah, is that metallic? Let's get it out of here and see. I'm actually not sure if that's a metallic or not, but that is beautiful. Almost a slight wash of iridescence. I know that's the big trendy thing right now, right? Yes, it is. And that has it. All right, Duval, I'm already impressed with that. Now, before we get this thing plugged in, let's take a look at how it is put together. You can see that you're going to turn it on and off here in the center. There's an on and off switch. I do like that feature because I have another flat iron here at the house where the on and off button is on the side. And I got to tell you, whenever I'm straightening my hair, very often I accidentally click that button <laughs> and before you know it, the iron is off. So I love that, that it's on at the inside. Also, it looks like the temperature knob is, is down inside as well. So that's, that's nice that it's down on the inside. Now, I cannot see anywhere on here or on the box or on the paper, unless I'm just missing it possible because I don't have my glasses on but I don't see anywhere right off that tells us how big this plate is but it looks like a one inch I think this one here is a one inch now let's read a few of the specs on here that they sent over of what this iron is supposed to do it has floating tourmaline ceramic plates. Now the floating plates are supposed to be great because it will cushion the impact and glide over the strands without tugging or pulling at the hair. It also has the tourmaline coating, which releases negative ions to help lock in moisture, seal the hair cuticle, and then minimize the damage to your natural hair. It has professional heating elements that give even heating to ensure fast uniform heat recovery to maintain optimal heat levels while styling now that is really great then it does have variable heat settings i believe the lowest is 140 the highest is 450 and it says that it has a 360 degree yes it does rotating cord so that's nice now the email specs say that this is 2.5 slash eight feet long on the cord I'm not exactly sure what that means. Does, does that mean it's eight feet long and the two and a half is a metric unit of measure? I don't know. So let's just unravel it and see. All right, so here it is. Let's stretch this out. Oh, very nice. All right, one stretch of the cord should be about a yard, give or take a little. Yes, okay. So it is, actually this one is a little bit longer than eight feet. Very convenient, very convenient. All right, you guys, we've already gone through about two thirds of this straightening process, <laughs> only to discover somehow the camera got turned off and not restarted. So 
Oh my word. This is the point to where we are. I have already straightened the back of this. I am sorry you didn't get to see that, but you will get to see the sides. Uh, I don't even remember what all I had told you to remember what we don't have. So let's just go over a few of the things that I noticed already. You won't have my very first reaction, which was like, ah, oh, but, but we'll try to recreate it. Okay. Anyway, we noticed, we already told you, I already told you that there was a red light on the back. It turns green whenever it's actually heated up and ready to go. That is one thing that I discovered as I was moving along is I noticed when it turned green. I also was timing how long it took somewhere between about 30 to 45 seconds. It was already hot to the touch. And then within about a minute is whenever I noticed that that light had changed to green. Now, I think you guys missed everything. I am using a heat protectant on my hair. I always do that whenever I'm straightening it just to add another level of defense before you just completely damage and ruin the hair altogether. And I think that you also missed the part where I talked about the elephant in the room. I know, girls, it needs to be colored. It needs to be colored. We've been under quarantine. What can I say? <laughs> no, let's just be honest. Even before the quarantine started, my hair was in desperate need to be colored. Look how that is working. It is working beautifully. There it is. There it is. It is working beautifully well. So I'm going to go ahead and start speeding up the video. Let's get the rest of the hair done and then we'll talk about it some more. you guys though y'all are seeing those natural roots right there look how dark that is let's just be honest there's quite a bit of natural gray there but not not too too bad coming through those roots as what it could be you guys I'll be 50 on my birthday <laughs> I'm pretty happy about that the lack of gray not being 50 Beautiful. Look at that. Nice and straight. Nice and straight. Even on this frizzy and damaged hair. Does anybody else shed like crazy when you're doing your hair? Is that an age thing? Is that a woman thing? I feel like I should be making some kind of like super sexy faces. Duck lips and all that, right? Uh -uh, girls, this is Jim Rawl. This is how I do it. Funny faces and all. Now, one thing that I was trying to tell you guys before I realized the camera wasn't rolling was that on the exterior of the device here, you will see that there is a textured part and then there is a smooth part where the logo is. You will notice I'm not touching that part because it is hot. It is really hot, even on the back side. The good thing about filling the heat on the back is that if you want to use this as a curling iron, which we're going to try to do in just a few minutes, you need for it to be hot on the back side as well. Let's take all this down, give it a good brush through, and see what it is looking like, you guys. Look at that. How beautifully straight. Yes, not necessarily beautiful with the root grow out, but <laughs> beautifully, beautifully straight. All right, now let's just do one more experiment and see if this straightener can curl the hair. Now, I have to be the first one to tell you I'm not super great at this process. I can do it, not real consistent at the results. I don't do it very often. And honestly, sometimes whenever I get ready to curl my hair, 
baby girl does it for me. <laughs> but let's just give it a try and see what this little thing can do. Look at that little curl. All right, not the best curl, but like I told you, I'm not, not the greatest at it. Let's try another one. Nice, nice. Are you seeing that? Yes. All right, and let's do one more. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, I'm not going to take the full time to go all the way around the hair straight, uh, curling it, but there you have it. Yes, this does work for that purpose as well. All right, so I am done. I have just turned it off, and I'm going to see while I'm talking to you about how long it's going to take it to cool back down, just so that you know, trying to cover all the bases. So what do I think? What are my final thoughts? You guys, I absolutely love it. First of all, I am loving the color. If you love pink, <laughs> this one is amazing. It is so beautiful. So beautiful. It has that slight iridescence to it, giving a little bit of a blue and purple hue as well. Absolutely adorable. Totally love it. I love the way that it feels in my hand. Very comfortable to hold this iron. I like that the on and off switch as well as, as the temperature control is on the inside. That is a positive to me because you're not accidentally cutting it off. I do love the speed in which it heated up within about a minute. It was fully hot and ready to go at that 450 degrees. Now, you're probably not going to need to straighten your hair at quite that hot of a temperature, so it'll be less time for you. Just keep an eye on the little light. It will switch to green when it's ready to go. I love the way that it rolled through the hair. Now, it is supposed to have those floating tourmaline plates that's supposed to tug on the hair a little less. I do have to say I noticed less tugging than with other flat irons, but I still did notice a little bit of tugging and a little bit of popping with the hair as it kind of because mine is so frizzy and so curly you know it kind of got twisted around the plate just a little bit and so I still did feel it to a degree I don't think it's going to be completely 100% tugless, but it doesn't claim to be either. It just says that it reduces the amount of tug. And I would have to say that that is true. I did experience that. As far as the amount of straightening, well, I think the results speak for itself, right? I mean, it got pretty doggone straight and you guys saw it before. I have a frizzy, messy hair. <laughs> My hair is not the best quality hair. Let's just be honest. It's just not, but it straightened up very nice. And I think if it was all either back to galaxy or all one color, it would be a very pretty. Right now we're dealing with just like a whole bunch of colors, but still nonetheless, the actual straight straightening is fantastic. And I do love that this one does still get hot on the outside, which makes it a great straightening iron for also curling your hair if you want to use it for that. But overall, it is a great product, you guys. I'm going to have all of the links posted for you down below for you to hop over. Here's the great thing. They are willing to give all of my designers 70% off. That's right. Regular price on this iron is $95. You're going to get 70% off, which should make it somewhere like right around $28, I believe, give or take a little bit. That is an excellent deal. Trust me. We have bought straighteners in the past. We have bought curling wands, you name it, and it's hard to get a great one for a good price. So for under $30... Yes, I do believe that it is totally, totally worth it. I really do. I've used several straighteners in my day, and this is a good one at that purchase price for sure. So make sure that you look below for that code. Make sure you click those links. Check it out. Get you one of these if you're looking for a good straightener. My first impressions are that it is absolutely fantastic. All right. I want to thank again Duval for sending this over. This is not a sponsored video, but they did send me the straightener for free. So a huge thank you to you guys. Thank you for trusting me to give my 100% honest thoughts on this little device. It is absolutely beautiful. I love it. I'm appreciative for it. And I want to thank all of you guys for watching and hanging out with me just a little bit today. I do want to remind you all that you were created for purpose. So get out there and be all you can be. I'll see you soon in the next video.